What is going on, guys? And welcome back to a brand new episode of Ark Aberration Ascended. Last we left off, we tamed a male Spino and did some... What was... Oh, it was you. Okay. I was gonna say, that scared the hell out of me. But yeah, we tamed up a, uh, a male Spino. It wasn't the greatest level. It was only a 125. And we got an imprinted Spino. This is our imprinted boy. You know, like, uh, I mean, you lost the melee, so you're not perfect. But yeah, we did manage to get one or two. That was the perfect health and the perfect melee. Two Spinos, a perfect male and a perfect female. They were twins as well, which made it even better. So, uh, yeah. Alright, I put the over... Oh, I did some off-camera work, and I, uh, brought an over-raptor here, and it's already collecting eggs, which is awesome. Alright, we want it to collect eggs. Which is cool. Alright, do we have any 226 Ravagers? No. Okay, well, is it 210 for the Spinos? Nope. Alright. We don't have anything, so let's kill them all. Drop the poop. We don't need any poop. Oh yeah, and I also got a, uh, a Zeppelin. So we're gonna check that out. Today I was originally gonna go onto the surface and see what's going on up there. But as you can see, it's currently daytime, so we're unable to do that. We can only go to the surface at night. But I was thinking in today's video, we've got a 140 Basilisk near the base. And I want to see if we can grab it. So what I also did off camera, I've got a lot of metal cooking up. A bunch of metal. Because I went out with the Ankylo, got a bunch of metal, and now that's cooking up. We got ourselves a Dodicarus. So we could gather stone and whatever. I have yet to get the saddle for it. And we have traits. So this one has tier 3 inherit stamina frail. So does that mean it has a better chance of losing stamina? Or getting the terrible stamina? We got one tenacious. Sunrise is apparently a tenacious megalosaurus. So sunset, you're angry. Okay. Apparently. Alright, what are we looking at for Toro? What are you about? Distracting. Alright. Yeah, we got these new jeans. I have no idea what they're all about. This guy's athletic. For whatever reason. Athletic? Okay. What about Big Ben? Inherit Stamina Frail. Tier 2. Havoc is apparently Nocturnal. Chaos is a Sprinter. Wrath is Cowardly, I think. Nanny, what are your traits? Inherit Stamina Mutable. Does that mean you have a chance of getting a, a Stamina Mutation? Oh yeah. The Yi Ling. Somebody said in the comments that I should tame the 110 Yi Ling off camera. I was going to do that. I was taming the Yi Ling. I was in the process of taming the 110. And then boom. This 140 Yi Ling showed up out of nowhere. And now we have a 140 Yiling, which is over-encumbered, does not have the greatest weight. So I'm going to level you up and wait a little bit. And uh, I might get a male at some point. They're both female, so I won't be able to breed them up. But yeah, there's that. So yeah, and Tank, you are Inherit Oxygen Mutable. Okay. So yeah, we got that. And uh, yeah, so I'm just going to collect some more Spino eggs. And then we're going to see if we can tame that Basilisk. Should I bring the 140 Yi Ling with us? Just so we could drop the eggs and then fly off? Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. Yeah, we won't bring any of the bulb dogs because I don't want them to die. I mean, we've got extras. And then for the surface, yeah, actually, actually, I think it's getting dark out. I mean, we have the Zeppelin. I don't know if we have any oil or anything like that for gasoline. Let's check out the, uh, let's check out the Zeppelin. Alright, so this is the Zeppelin. Obviously, it doesn't have any fuel or anything like that, so we won't be able to go anywhere. But what we could do is build stuff up, and actually it is Nightfall. So maybe we should, should we tame the Basilisk this episode, or, you know, let's go to the surface. We'll see what the surface is all about. But first, we need to fuel up the Zeppelin, because... I was thinking about taking the Spino. What level is the Spino? That's a 125 male. Another 125 male. You had 15 melee. That's your wild stats. 
I'm I'm not sure if the uh, other mail we have is better. Oh, yeah. Well, we need gasoline anyway, so I'll be right back with some gasoline, and uh, we should be good to go. And we are out of spark powder. Wonderful. All right, there we go. I'm back with 200 gasoline. So once we power this bad boy up, we should be good to go. Oh. It's already fueled. 40,000 fuel. Is there any way I could pick this guy up? Can I pick this up? Um, I guess not. Alright. I guess it's just stuck up there. Alright. So we got the Zeppelin anyway. Let's get some uh, storage boxes so we can get drops and whatever. Yeah, and then uh, we'll take one of the Spinos, or maybe an imprinted Spino. We'll take this guy. We'll take this guy just in case we need to fight any Reapers. We should probably bring Tiffany along. Yeah, that'd probably be a good idea. So then Nameless don't get us. Only makes sense. Alright, we got fuel in the Zeppelin. Let's make some resources for... Let's get some resources together for... What's it called? Storage boxes. Let's see. Fiber... We don't have any fiber in there. Do we have any fiber in here? No. Okay. Let's get a bunch of thatch. Let's get like four storage boxes. That'll be like ideal and whatever. We don't have anything in there. Now it is nightfall. What what are we on right now? We're on a 90% night. Which means we should have a lot more time. We're at 16.05 now. I do believe it doesn't go to daylight until... 11? I'm not 100% sure. I am not sure how this works. Now, I believe the surface is like... The surface cave, the entrance is somewhere up north. I do believe. Not 100% sure. Alright. Let's get one more storage, and then we should probably make a bed. That would be a good idea. Put a bed on the Zeppelin, so if for some reason we die, we can respawn on the Zeppelin. Like, what we could do is, if we don't make it to the surface in time, we could camp out. We could camp at the cave, and then we'll go to the surface once nighttime falls again. Steampunk goggles, okay, that's interesting. All right, we need a bed. Let's make a bed. So if we die, we can respawn at the Zeppelin. And then I think we're all set to go. All right, we won't worry about lighting up until... Um, what's it called? Uh, we get there. All right, let's try out our new... Um, what's it called? Uh, Zeppelin. Okay, game. 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 Thank you. Okay, this this is kind of cool. <laughs> if I'm gonna be honest, this is cool. Yeah, I can see everything from up here. Yeah, I can tell this is gonna be OP. OP as hell. So, which way do we need to go? I think we need to go a little up here. Yeah, it is nightfall, so I don't think we really have to worry about too much. Alright, we found it. It took long enough, but we found it. Alright, how much time do we have? I don't know how much time we have left. If we have any time. Alright, so what we need to do, first things first, consume some of these shrooms so we can combat the, the spores. This is the best mushroom to use to combat these spores. Yep, yep, so this is the surface cave. This is where we need to be. I brought the Spino with us so we can fight any Reapers if we need to. Now, our main goal is to get as many drops as we can. That's literally our main goal. And we have a limited amount of time to do this. So if we just keep going, we'll eventually hit the surface. I want to see what this is like. I think it is safe to go up right now. So I don't know how much time we're going to have. But hopefully it'll be enough. I don't know if we have any time. Let's try it. Alright, this is the surface. I'm gonna save the game just in case it crashes for any reason. Alright. There is so much going on. 
We got Reapers everywhere. We've got We've got Seekers. I don't think Nameless will be able to get me from up here. So we can just safely cruise along as long as it doesn't get flamey up here. The only thing I'm not seeing are drops. I don't know if it's getting flamey up here. I don't know how much time we have. So this is the surface. Yeah, we've got surface Reaper Kings. We've got Seekers, possibly Nameless. And I also heard Fasilisuchus spawn here. Like they spawn at the surface. And metal is very easy to, to go by or to come by. There is a lot going on up here. Uh, we know where the entrance is, so I'm just looking around, see if we can find any drops. If not, we'll head back underground. I keep forgetting space is not to ascend. Oh, there is a drop here. Let's see what's in here. Are uh, we got some not really worth it loot, if you do ask me. I don't think Reapers can get me up here, so... We should be safe to just land and grab this. I'm going to grab it anyway because drops are very hard to come by. So let's ascend. Get up there. I'm not really seeing anything else. Just one loot drop so far. I'm not really seeing the beacon that like indicates a drop. I don't know how much time we have before we gotta get back underground. Oh, there's a blue thing. Guarded by a bunch of Reapers, though. I don't even know if that's worth it or not. What we could do... We get this drop, because I don't know how much time we have before we gotta get back. There's the entrance there. After we get back underground, I'll mark where, where we are on the map, so... I'll always know where to find this place. I should probably turn Tiffany on. Not like that. There we go. We got some light. So now we should be protected by Nameless. Though saying that, this will attract Seekers. So we'll wait a little bit. It is starting to get a little spicy. I don't know if we should get underground or not. Hmm. We can get a good look at the surface while we're here. I'm not sure about this. It's getting a bit spicy in here. What we could do, grab this loot, whatever's in it, and then just get the hell out of here. That's what we'll do. And that'll be our first surface adventure done. All right, we got Seekers, we've got Reapers, all sorts of bad stuff. All right, that drop was not worth it at all. What did we get from that? Let me see, uh, some cooked fish meat and some building supplies and a steam lights and lamp. Don't know what that is. We might have to check that out at some point. I was kind of hoping for some weapons because, I don't know, the loot is kind of... Hmm. So, we've went on our first cave adventure, or sorry, surface adventure even. So maybe we should try to just get back underground. I don't know. There's another drop here. Do we have enough time? This is so OP. I'm gonna say that right now. This is so OP. Alright, it's another blue drop. This will probably be the last drop. And then we'll see about getting out of here. We'll count our blessings and get out of here. I just realized, if Fasilisuchus do spawn on Aberration... It's both going to be very easy because it's this place is rich with metal. But it's also going to be very hard because of all the Reapers and the Seekers. And possibly the Nameless. And there's a yellow drop. There's a yellow drop right there. What do we get from that? Carno saddles, some grenades, some armor. Alright, we'll, we'll check that out later. We're already wasting time, like, looking at the stuff. We should probably just... Okay, this will probably be the final drop. I swear it will be. And of course, a red drop spawns. Are you kidding me? A red drop. 
Red drops are like the best you can get. I think with the 90% night, we have until 11. We have until 11, so that should be... I don't know. Nine in-game hours? Maybe? We'll go after this yellow drop, and then if we have time, this red drop, and then we'll see what kind of loot we have. So... All right, we'll just stand here and wait. Maybe move around so the Zeppelin doesn't land. All right, we're going to get the yellow drop and possibly the red drop, and then we're going to get the hell out of here. If we have enough time, hopefully we have enough time. All right, I think we have enough time for the red drop. I think we do. All right, this will be the last drop. We got really lucky. A red drop. All right. And then we'll get back underground. We'll get back underground. We'll count our blessings, look at what we have, and then we'll head back. What I might do is leave the blimp by the entrance to make it more convenient. And I already see another reaper. I already hear another reaper. Oh god, there's a reaper after us. Let's fly. Get out of there. Alright, there is a blue drop here. I don't know. We should have enough time. It's 3.13 now. I think with a 9% night, it doesn't become morning till about 11. So, we should be fine. I think we have another 8 hours. I might be overthinking this. And are you kidding me? There is another red drop there. Ah. I think we should have plenty of time. It's 3.30 now. I don't think it becomes daytime till about 11. Oh, and it's a red boosted drop as well. That should be really good. That's like the best of the best right there. What's that noise? Why is the Zeppelin making clicking noises? Oh, I think that's the ladder lowering. I think that's what it is. <laughs> All right, we'll grab this, um, excuse me, red drop. And, uh, we'll... That'll be the last drop ever. Like, the final drop of the night. And then we'll get out of there and count our blessings. And then I think next episode we'll tame that 140 Basilisk. That's a really good drop. I want to see if we can get anything from that. And then another blue drop has spawned. I don't know if we have enough time or not. Alright. There is a blue drop, I believe, that just spawned. Let me see if there's any more, like, drops or whatever. Okay, I don't think that's good. I think when that starts rising, I think that's when we need to get out of here. Let me just put what we got away. Alright, this will be the last drop. Last drop of the night. And then we'll get out of here. Alright. I got the drop. There's another blue drop over here. Yeah, I, th I think we're good to get out of here. I think we should just get out of here now. I think we still got another five hours. In-game hours, that is. Not real-life hours. That'd be cool if we had five real-life hours, but no. All right, let's just get out of here. Let's just get back underground. I think we still had plenty of time, but I didn't want to take any chances. Oh. Oh, the, uh, the wheel thing. The steering wheel moves when you steer it. That's awesome. All right, let's see what we've gotten from our loot. So we got... Eh, nothing too crazy. Simple rifle ammo, fish meat, wall sign, explosive device, Kalian soup, some building materials, which we don't need, steam light lamps, an Ascendant Carno saddle. We can use that on Toro. We can finally get Toro a saddle. We've got a grenade, some Ascendant Chitin. Oh, that... That's cool. We got metal spike wall, some focal chili, an apprentice assault rifle, riot, 880. That's cool. That's cool. A 562% damage ascendant assault rifle. That's awesome. An ascendant gigantoraptor saddle and an ascendant spino. Oh, that's cool. We got riot chest piece. We've got a journeyman riot shield. We got an ascendant arthropleura saddle. Ascendant Hazard Suit Shirt. Oh, that would be great for the radiation. 
We also got a bunk bed. We got a billboard. An Ascendant Fasso Asuka saddle. So if we do decide to tame a Fasso, then we can use that. And an Ascendant Rock Drake saddle. Okay. You know what? I kind of like that loot. So what we're going to do, we're going to leave this here. And we're just going to mark on the map where we are. So we always know where this place is. I'm going to leave this here. I don't think it should be using the gas as long as it's inactive. We've still got about 37 fuel left. So what we might do is take our earnings. Let's get the Spino out. All right. So we always know where this place is. I think we're going to be over encumbered. No, we're fine. We're fine. Let's put everything on the Spino. Everything can go on the Spino. We should be good to go. He might eat the meat or chow down on the meat. And I say to that, help yourself. Because we really don't care about that. Oh, I forgot to see what we got in here. All right, so we got... Ascendant Kite and Armor. We got a Water Reservoir. That's actually cool. We got some Scuba Leggings. Useless. Blue Gems. Okay. A Harpoon Launcher. Okay. Some Better Boots. Okay. We got some really good armor. Actually. Alright. Let's uh, put everything on the Spino. And apparently we got some Bug Repellent. And we're going to leave the Zeppelin here. We're going to leave it here. And then we're just going to head back to base. There's the 140 Basilisk right there. What I'm thinking, we could snag that next episode. If we wanted to. If it's still there, I'll snag it. I mean, we could snag it real quick. Just so we have it. And then next episode, get the saddle. What levels is bear? 80? Not the greatest level. I want like a, like a 140 or something. All right, Spino, you can stay here. Wait, the Spino saddle can go on you, couldn't it? All right, let's see. Spino saddle. We got a really good Spino saddle. Shame it's not a blueprint, but it's something anyway. So, yeah, what we'll do is next episode we'll... Or should we tame the Basilosaurus or Basilisk? No, we'll, we'll wait till next episode to tame it. Did we get any 226 Ravagers? We did. All right. Oh, we got a melee mutation. That That's good. And another melee. Hmm. I might keep the female just so we have it. What about 228? Because sometimes... No. I was going to say sometimes you get double mutations, but I guess not. We could hatch up a couple Spino eggs. Let's see how many eggs we've got. We'll take about... All right, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll take four of them. And we'll see what happens there. Alright, um... So, Mr. Perfect Male Ravager, you can go into retirement. Alright, well, you know what? Next episode, we'll go out and tame that 140 Basilisk. But until then, that's gonna have to wrap it up for this episode. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. It would really help out a ton. But until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.